Okay, here's a look at my current collection for the Transformers Autobot pipes. And pipes is a character from season three. He's a mini bot. And these are all the incarnations of pipes that I've collected over the years and I want to make this video just so I have reference of all the toys that I've collected so let's go over them starting with G1 pipes this is a toy from the 80s and I think it actually still look, looks nice because it actually looks like the uh, cartoon and um, the character was based off of um, the, the toys and so when you look at all the details like those uh, protruding chest parts and the details on the the legs and the feet um, they did a very nice job replicating um, the toy in their cartoon character design and I know it because I did a drawing of this really making sure to look at all the details and making sure they're all noted from the cartoon so, um, yeah, this is, uh, and you can see that video, I posted it up on YouTube, to my drawing of pipes, but, uh, this is the G1 character, it's having trouble standing because of the legs, but then moving on, during the Chug era, they never made a pipes, or a huffer, so we had to rely on the third party company. This is by iGear. So you can see the quality of the toy improved a little bit. It's more stable. You know, those ball joint arms. Uh, not quite cartoon accurate, but at that time the trend was really a remake of the original toy with um, some um, liberty taken to uh, Im implement some of their own design. So I mean, as I'm looking at it, you can see he doesn't have those chests protruding out. Uh, but, you know, it was good during its time. And then we have the legends that came out, which <laughs> This is far from the cartoon. They were, they were just doing their own design. And I think this was really just a repaint because this original mold was for Optimus Prime based on the comic, I think. So, I mean, it was just nice to have, when you know, when you're a completist like me and you want to have all the characters. It's just, um... Hasbro has a way to get you by making a few characters and then not making all of them. But then, uh, let's move on. During the Chug era, you know, X Transbots made their version of Pipes, one of their earlier figures. So this is considered like a Chug and it's a deluxe size but trending towards masterpiece scale you know um, this is not quite cartoon accurate as you can tell he doesn't have those protruding parts on his chest and like all of x transbots figures even today the engineering design on this is so bad i mean as an example look at this the huge backpack he doesn't stand he's not able to stand that's why I have him backed up against the wall um, and then to my surprise earlier on 
X-Trans bots did not um, do a lot of coloring, so I had to custom paint that. So he has white legs instead of black. Um, you know, but I have to say during the time, during the Chug era, this was okay, because this is all that you had. And uh, just letting you know, this is another reason why I'm making this video, because I'm making videos of figures I'm giving away. So I will be giving away this uh, Masterpiece Scale Pipes by x Transbots. Okay, so, um, let's move on here. It's another third party company made a, can't focus here, made a better version of pipes. This is by Bad Cube. And uh, you can see it's a little bit more cartoon accurate. You can see how he has those protruding chest pieces even the details on the legs. Uh, so this was, they were focusing a little bit more uh, to look more like the cartoon. Just want to point out, I don't really like the white bars on there. It should just be a straight blue line going across. But uh, I can't really complain because, look at that, he actually stands too. Um, this is a nice figure. Um, and so this is currently what I have for my masterpiece. I don't know why this is in trouble focusing, but yeah, it's my current masterpiece. And speaking of masterpiece, Fans Toys is coming to the rescue with their version of pipes and definitely looks cartoon accurate. Um, even the, the truck mode looks really, really nice. Um, so I can't wait until that comes out and I get my hands on it, add it to my collection. But let's move on. So, um, you know, trying to collect all the mini bots in the right scale was difficult. So thankfully, Mech Fans Toys came to the rescue. So here's Mech Fans Toys version of pipes, which um, you know fits in really nicely with the War for Cybertron season three figures, and I do have all of the mini bots for that, so I'm really happy. Um, it's not quite uh, cartoon accurate, but it's very close enough. But when you compare it to the official mainline re uh, retail pipes, uh, he's too big. He should actually be small because he's a mini bot. And like a lot of the Hasbro mainline retail, there's so many little imperfections. They do some things to make it look nice, um, but then they, you know, their market strategy uh, t team, they purposely uh, influence design so that, you know, they can try to get you to buy more. I mean, you can see he kind of has like that chest protruding parts, legs are not accurate, and I really don't like those white bars and they could have used blue plastic uh, if they wanted to make this um, uh, a nice finish but that's what we have and so this is my collection so far of the Transformers Autobot pipes so this is one last look, and the uh, most exciting thing is waiting for the Fans Toys version. So, yeah, that's my collection, and I will...
continue on with the other mini bots.